Do not let non-stress enter your work environment. Hi, it's Frank the Pilot. When amazing revelations of what professional pilot sees, thinks, and feels, I may have some valuable information that can help you. Would you like to hear about it? This gouge may help you perform better at your job. So unions, why do we need unions anyway? If the company takes care of its people, the workers, and the workers provide a good product or service, then the company will make a good profit and everybody be happy, right? <laughs> oh no, not really. You see, it's the inherent nature of most companies to squeeze more hours out of its employees, to try to get them to work for more, to work more hours for less pay. You see, the owners and the stockbrokers, they want to make more money to buy bigger gots than the other guys. The more money they make and the more power they have, the happier they'll be, right? <laughs> Not necessarily. In pursuit of happiness and seeking shorter hours and more pay, in 1794, the printers were the first to go on strike. Cabinet makers went on strike in 1796 and carpenters in 1797. And the National Labor Union was the first union formed in 1866. Other unions formed years later. The, pilot, the Airline Pilots Association, ALPA, formed its union in 1991. You see, pilots can't legally negotiate without representation, a union. And without representation, you get what the company des desires to give you. So although FedEx started in 1972, it was over 26 years before their pilots got their first union contract. It was in 1999, with over 90% of pilot unity at FedEx, that the pilots secured their first union contract. It helped increase pay and helped increase work rules. Made it safer too. You see, it was good business for FedEx to sign a contract with the pilots. As Mikey Colleone said, it's not personal, it's strictly business. It's from the Godfather movie. These increase of pilot pressures and stress during contract, contract negotiations is not good for the pilot in the cockpit. Anger and animosity have erupted between the company and its pilots over extended union contract negotiations. And these stresses may creep into the cockpit and degrade safety. It's not good to let non-pilot stress get into the cockpit. It affects your ability to perform best at being pilots. So what's the gouge? The gouge is don't let non-stress enter the cockpit, like pilot negotiations. Pilots must learn to compartmentalize, keep non-flight issues separate from flying issues when flying the jet. Leave all that non-flight issues, including death, spousal, children, and, and uh, other sickness issues at home on the ground. So, why don't you come follow me, read this book, Frank the Pilot, join me on this emotional journey as an airline pilot. See what a pilot sees, thinks, and feels as he flies around the world. The next gouge is first officers think like a captain. I wanna thank you for those four star ratings and book reviews and for following me on social media. It makes me feel good that I can give back and share with you. Help you, I will. Enjoy the day, if not the night. I love Paris.